It's often said that there is a critical window for stroke recovery, three to six months after injury. Is there a similar critical window for ANS dysfunction or conditions that don't involve tissue damage? It's a great question. So number one, critical window for stroke recovery it started out three to six months, and they call it the golden year. Um, and what we learned from that is, does more change happen quickly? Yeah, because there's a lot more response to injury in the earliest days, right? So like the biggest delta or the biggest changes will happen early because we're coming from a low base and moving quickly. Um, as far as like being a hard cutoff for like capacity for neuroplasticity, there isn't one. Um, it's the same reason like you can learn, you can learn a new language when you're 80 years old. Is it as easy? No, right? We don't, neuroplasticity isn't as fast. It's not in that nice, window where your brain's designed for language, but it can still do it. So this, think about this the same way. It's not in the critical window where you like develop your, whatever, your cognitive system or your vestibular system or your visual system, but it can still make progress toward it. So number one, I would say to those of you out there that are like in the years after an injury, don't let that dissuade you. There still could be a huge potential for upside. We see that all the time. So don't be dissuaded there. And then with ANS dysfunction, is it the same thing? Is there a critical window? Again, earlier is always better, but it doesn't mean that there's a cutoff time where it's like, you're never going to catch up again. I would never look at it and say, there's any point where it's not worth pursuing, trying to feel better because like your life is your life. You'd want to get as much of it back as you can.